Hey guys, Toy here. Make sure you watch the video all the way to the end so that you can see what I will be revealing for the very, very first time. So exciting. See you guys there. Hey guys, and welcome to episode four of our social book launch journey. Yay! I'm so glad to have you guys back. It is mid-March and I haven't seen you guys since February, so I miss you so much. I hope any project that you're working on, you're making progress like I am, and I wish you the best of luck. But today we are here to talk about what we have done since our last episode. A lot of things have happened, um, a lot of great things, um, some not so great things, but I can't wait to share them with you guys. First things first. So remember our virtual assistant that I told you guys about um, a few episodes ago. Um, she was so awesome. She was able to do a lot of things that I could not do because I work a full-time job um, as far as setting up our social media and reaching out to some folks. And uh, she did a lot of great stuff. Anyway, we don't have her anymore and I'm so sad that we don't because she was really, really awesome. Um, I guess life gets in the way and maybe she got a little stressed out. Maybe she took on more than she could handle um, with being a great mom and a great wife and she had some other jobs. So I'm not going to put everything out there, but just want to wish her the best of luck if she's watching this. Thank you so much for all of your help. And we are still trudging on and do what we have to do. Yay. <laughs> Second thing is, do you like my backdrop? This is new. I wouldn't pick this up today because you know what? I was like, I'm tired of people seeing like my house and <laughs> I did a thorough cleaning today, but for some reason that door behind me like that closet was just like every time I rewatch the videos and I'm editing it I'm like dear god this thing looks so butt ugly like what the hell am I gonna do so I went out and got a little backdrop um, And I hope you like it. I'm gonna try to change them up every now and then um, just to kind of give us some variety Don't be upset if you see it repeat a few times Okay, because I'm not trying to bust my book budget by trying to buy you guys a backdrop so that you're not as bored as I am But I mean, you know, hey, sometimes you just gotta mix it up some do you guys like it? What do you feel about the yellow? You don't like me? I don't know if I like the yellow. I mean, it's cool right now, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm still trying to fill it out. So I don't know. We'll see for the next episode if I still keep it. I don't know. Third thing, um, book launch aside for a second. Do you like my hair? I straightened it. I know. I, I've been wearing my hair natural. I know if there's guys watching this and you're so totally not into this, fast forward a little bit because I need to talk to ladies real quick. So I've been like, you know, doing the whole natural thing for the past few years. I mean, at one point I straightened my hair and burned out my entire curl pattern. And for three years, it took me to like grow my hair back out and get it back to its nice fullness. So you guys have been seeing my hair in like these little curly buns and all these wonderful little styles, but I wanted to straighten it. I wanted to see how long it got and look at that. My hair is growing out, look at that. I need to trim these ends. They look a little crazy, a little scraggly, but Listen, I just wanted to straighten it a little bit just to give it some, you know, time to relax. Not a relaxer, but I wanted my curls to relax just a little bit. So, I don't know. If you guys like it, let me know. You know, leave a comment and everything. You know, uh, it took a little while to straighten it and get it together, but I'm working on some things. I'm working on some things. Don't judge me. I'm thinking about color. We'll talk about it next time, but I don't know. Let's get back to our book launch journey. Okay, are you ready for the most exciting, exciting thing of this entire episode? Oh my God, guys, I finished my final edits of the book. Ah! You have no, no idea how great this feels. It's been taking me at least four to five months to finish editing and rewriting. I went line by line. Remember I told you guys that I cut the book in half because it was so long? And also I wanted to make it into a series. So after I had the first editor go through it, I went line by line and started just editing and rewriting and rewriting. And it took like months to do. And I was so glad earlier this week when that got done. <laughs> My boyfriend's been seeing me like come home from work and working on it. And then I got to like the last sentence and I was like, babe, 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 I'm done, I'm done. He's like, oh, you're, you're done editing for the night? I was like, no, I am done editing for ah, forever. Until I send the book to the final editor and then we have to do some things. But I mean, like, that's a great thing because now I can send this book to the final editor and then they can polish it and then we're like almost close. Oh my God. So, cheers. <laughs> cheers to you. Cheers to me. Cheers to us. Cheers to this freaking book launch journey. Trust me, when we are completely done right before we launch, we're gonna have a little party. I'm gonna I'm gonna have all sorts of wine. We're gonna do the wine tasting in the episodes, okay? 
it might need to be a live a live stream something but cheers to us okay mm, that is delicious what am i drinking some sweet red wine because uh, I just, that was such so sweet i'm so glad so what do we have to do next i'm screening editors right now why am i screening editors because i want our final editor to be able to take the voice of the book, take the, the action, take everything that I'm trying to do and just polish it. Make sure you go through and get all those grammatical errors and punctuation. And also I want someone else to take like their own stab at it. Like give me another word option for this. Maybe reflow the sentence better. And also bring some, you know, some things to my attention like Oh, should he be carrying a revolver or a semi-automatic? What time frame is this book taking place in? Blah, 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 blah. So that's great. And when I tell you screen multiple editors, it's very, very, very important. And I'll tell you for these reasons. Sorry. You guys caught me still celebrating because, honey, you have no clue, no clue how relieved I am. Okay, I went on Upworks.com. Like always, guys, I'm gonna put the links below so that you can go below, click below and find the website so that you can also use these services and, um, and use them for your projects and things that you like to do. On Upworks, you can find multiple editors. Actually, it's a freelance website. All freelancers, whether they do video or graphic design or editing, you name it, they're there. So you go on Upworks.com and you post a posting, basically giving a very, very brief description of your book, okay? Also give them a deadline for your book. Give them the amount of words that you have, the amount of chapters that you have, and how many pages, because that will also allow them to figure out, okay, well, this is how much I'm gonna charge per page. There are some editors that might charge 50 cents per page or a dollar per page, or maybe they may even charge by the word. So just figure that out. And you might even luck out because when you go on upworks.com and you're posting for a particular job, you have like three options. You can either make it open for people who are entry level, some people who are intermediate, and some people who are pretty much masters at this. So I opened it up for entry level people because I wanted to fit my budget. So you'll see it has like $1 sign, $2 signs, and then $3 signs. This is a tip. Just because they're in the $1 sign um, option, just because you pick that and someone responds to you, they might be new to Upworks, they might be a new freelancer, but that doesn't mean that they don't have like 15 or 20 years experience. They just may be lowering their rates so that they can get experience in hours working on projects on Upworks. So that's a tip, so make sure you keep that in mind. Also, make sure you tell them what you're looking for. You can say things like, I'm looking for someone that has English and literary skills, someone that can pay attention to punctuation and grammar, and then also you might want someone to help with proofreading. So make sure you're very, very descriptive in your posts. Another hint is, say something like, I want you to put Big Red Dog at the top of your proposal. That sounds funny, <laughs> it really does, but you want them to do that because you'll realize that they're submitting and they're also reading what your post is about. They're also answering the questions that you have. Upworks allows you to use some uh, questions that they already have for you. You can just click it, it'll appear, or you can create your own. Um, but if they don't put Big Red Dog, they just might be submitting and submitting and submitting to whoever's out there. So you wanna make sure that they're answering your questions. You wanna make sure that they're following directions because you don't want an editor that doesn't follow directions, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> so when I tell you to make sure that you're screening multiple editors, at this point, after you finish your final edits, you may be so, so excited to just find an editor and you jump the gun because you're like, oh my God, somebody responded, I'm gonna go with them. And then you're like, oh my God, another person responded, another person responded. I had over 30 applicants within two days. That's crazy. I actually thought it was gonna be harder to find an editor to edit my book than anything, but it wasn't that hard. <laughs> they actually responded and they loved the book description. They absolutely loved it. Um, and them answering those questions allowed me to see their personality. What I attached to that post was a sample, five pages of my prologue. Don't be afraid that somebody's gonna take your idea and run with it. They don't have the whole entire book. 
you're just basically putting that out there because you want to see what each editor is going to do. Some editors may just do grammatical changes. Some editors may ask you questions and put comments. Some editors may just say, oh, okay, I didn't really see much, but I just corrected these couple things. That's why you want to screen your editors because if someone is just like not paying attention to things that you catch, then no, you're out. Don't want you. If you find an editor that's bringing things to your attention that you didn't really quite think about, yeah, you know, I'm going to save you, I'm going to respond, and then, you know, I'm going to put you to the side because I want to screen more editors. Um, and I did do a cutoff because I'll be screening editors forever. You have to have a cutoff. I gave them April 8th um, to basically start this week and finish by April 8th. I want a two-week deadline, and that's still just, like, giving it a little buffer. If I have to go a little bit past the 8th, then I'm okay with that. But um, I just want to make sure that we get this done because we have to meet our book launch deadline. Here's something funny. One of the editors... Uh, responded to my post and one of the questions were why do you like to do this type of work and his answer was because I like to edit honey he spelled because B E C O S and I said, now that's a typo and you're trying to, <laughs> trying to work with us mm. the next question was uh, do you think that you can do this in this timeline and give an answer why yes because I like to edit and this is something that I would like to try once again because was spelled B-E-C-O-S I said you know what no X F out here and say like delete decline we don't have time for that I don't even know I should have just reported that because you can't be an editor and not know how to spell what get out of here get out of here so guys that's it this is a pretty short episode I just wanted to give you guys an update, a very brief update on what I've been doing and what's coming up. I mean, while the book is going to be uh, with the final editor, they're going to be proofing and polishing and all that great stuff, I'm going to start working on our book launch party. Yeah! Ooh, party! Girl! <laughs> that is good. Book launch party? What? What? Oh, that is going to be off the freaking chain. In our next episode, I'm going to tell you guys a little sneak peek of what I'm trying to do and how I'm trying to get some sponsors to give you, give you guys like some really, really cool, good things in your VIP bags and all that great stuff. I mean, this takes work. This takes work. I'm trying to get like some sponsors to help us and do the damn thing. But guys... I'm so glad that you've been with me every step of the way, and I really, 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 really do appreciate it. So make sure you hit all the links below. Follow me on all the social media links below. And also, I'll give you the description of the book that I gave to our editors. So now you can get a sneak peek, 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 peek. of oh, what this book is finally about. You stay with me this long. I've been very zip silent, tight, shut about what the book is about and who our main characters are. So just go down below and read the description. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. I love you. Take on innovation. Do the damn thing. Pursue a passion. Be a goal getter. Do it up. Okay, stay motivated. Um, to get our book on. Ah. I just wanted to give you guys a brief update and while the book is going to be edited with the final editor to print and polish and not print, but you know, I don't like to always do the long episodes because I know our attention span is like, what? Okay, what's next? What's on Facebook? What's on Twitter? What's on Instagram?